Tonight, we like to think we're a tolerant nation, but are we really? It just doesn't look right. And let's face it, you are condoning it now. You would stay stand out because the way you dress. A gay footballer. I hate gays. <laughs> Same as hate gays. How easy is it to change hearts and minds? When people use the word gay, it really hurts. And it kind of cuts little tears in you, and then little tears scar. Good evening and welcome to The Tonight programme. Over 40 years ago, homosexuality was made legal in the UK. Now we have openly gay men and women on television, in politics and fighting for our country. But despite this, in some parts of Britain, there's been a disturbing rise in the number of homophobic hate crimes. Tonight, gay Welsh rugby star Gareth Thomas investigates what's behind the increase and meets the people who are still afraid to be gay. Day. Almost universally, we Brits have had a love affair with the gay stars of stage and screen. From pop stars to soap stars, comedians to even a page three model. We've embraced our gay celebrities with open arms. We all know what you are. And in the last decade, the fight to win legal equality for gay men and women has accelerated at a tremendous rate, with openly gay individuals in our armed forces and emergency services. Tonight, the government will force through a measure to legalise gay sex between 16-year-olds by invoking the rarely used Parliament Act. At midnight tonight, Section 28, the law which prohibits the promotion of homosexuality by local authorities, will be abolished. I do. Protests and a place in history as the UK's first gay wedding takes place in Belfast. Tackling gay issues is now deemed family viewing. Coronation Street recently featured its first lesbian kiss between teenagers Sophie Webster and her pal Sean Powers. If you're gay, then you're gay. And across the Pennines in Emmerdale, car mechanic Aaron Livesey struggles to come to terms with his sexuality. With the ever growing acceptance of same sex relationships, I decided it was time to tell the world I was gay. My name is Gareth Thomas. I've had the honour to captain the British Lions and the Welsh rugby team. I've ranked up to 100 caps playing for Wales and was named the BBC Welsh Sports Personality of the Year in 2005. However, away from the sporting field, my private life was in turmoil. I had battled all my adult life with my sexuality. I even got married. But in the end, I couldn't carry on living a lie. And at the start of this year, I began a new chapter in my life. And tonight is my coming out party. Everyone, it's a big round of applause for Gareth Thomas! Um, everybody here today is um, is here in celebration of, I think, the world changing. Um, I did this to try and send a message out, to send a message that it's okay to be a sportsman, it's okay to be gay. I think it's a huge event. I mean, I think in a, in a sort of very machismo sport like rugby, it's great to see a guy openly come out and say, do you know what? I'm gay, I'm a rugby player, it doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me, I'm not ashamed of it. I think it's a wonderful evening and it's a chance to celebrate and it should, it should be celebrated, it shouldn't be on the play. I don't think the floodgates will be opened immediately, but I think it's about any area of public life where people can see that being gay is just one side of your life. What's really good about tonight is the fact that it's a celebration for Gareth, but it's not just for him, it's a celebration for everybody that Gareth represents. I, I, you know, right now I feel proud to be Gareth Thomas. Um, you know, I, I, I'm proud to be who I am, and who I am is part of me, and part of me is being gay. Away from the bright lights and the cosmopolitan atmosphere of parties like this one, what do we really think as a nation of same-sex relationships? If we're as tolerant as we like to think we are, why has there been a sharp surge in violence against gays in the last year? The figures are shocking. A staggering 47% in Wales, 22% in London and 17% in Strathclyde. Why did over a third of people in a recent survey say that they thought homosexual acts were wrong or mostly wrong? And why, in our exclusive tonight's survey, did 30% of those polled say they would be unhappy if their son or daughter was gay? 
I want to find out the truth. Despite all the legislation, are we really as liberal a nation as we appear? I remember my nan being a great admirer of uh, all the 70s campness on TV. Um, are you being served? All that sort of like, oh, missus, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, he hasn't got a girlfriend. That kind of confirmed bachelor idea in our society still exists. So I, I think there's the, there's the role of the comic gay in British society, which is uh, don't scare the horses. Let's not be too specific about what actually is going on. Um, but we're not really comfortable about people holding hands in the high street, are we? Well, are we? Meet Nick and Nathaniel. They've agreed to take part in tonight's experiment. What kind of reaction will they get holding hands, arm in arm, and even giving each other a quick cuddle on the streets of Wigan and Lee? It's not something they would normally do. I wouldn't feel comfortable walking down the street holding hands at all. Um, I've never felt safe doing it. Um, people look at you and it's, it's not necessarily that they're looking at you. It's just the fear, the constant fear in the back of your mind. In public, it's more, it's more um, snide comments. It's usually, usually lads, young lads, that say things. Um, and it might be abusive comments, shouting in the street, that kind of thing. I am nervous, um, very nervous. This is completely out of my comfort zone. Psychologist Emma Kenny counsels young gay people, helping them to come to terms with their sexuality. The experiment today is all about gauging public opinion to homosexuality. So it's about putting people in that situation where they're faced with the same sex couple and hoping that they'll give us our true opinion regarding their views. So, what do the great British public think? In our tonight's survey, one in four said they would find a same sex couple holding hands in public offensive. And almost half of you said you would be offended if you saw a gay couple kissing in public. Uh, I don't know if I agree with what uh -huh. goes on privately, uh -huh. but these people, they're lovely. It just doesn't look right, and let's face it, you're walking down here now, you would stay stand there because the way you dress. You're very nice. <laughs> you belong in Burton's window, really, don't you? <laughs> if it's all right for me to kiss a girl in the middle of the street, why is it not, you know what I mean, just because they like the same sex, there's no problem with it, you know what I mean? It's like, come on, man, you know what I mean? Gay power, man, gay power. <laughs> well, leave me alone, I'm not bothered. It's all right, don't no worries. Yeah, so it's yeah. a sense that they're okay as long as they're in their own territory. Yeah, as long as they don't kiss one another. Does it offend you if you see a couple together like that? Like, if you were out... Mate, it doesn't offend me, but wrong. It's not my business, but I, I don't like to see, you know, say two big... Especially the big burly men kissing in the street. Yeah, it's... What is it, do you think, that kind of gets you there? I don't know. Well, it doesn't seem... It's probably my age. It doesn't seem right. So although people might disagree, it's generally with good humour and a degree of tolerance. But what would happen if we secretly filmed Nick and Nathaniel? Find out later. But it already seems clear to me that changing the law is one thing, changing people's hearts and minds is quite another. In our survey, a quarter of those polled said they thought gays had too many legal rights. I've got a suspicion that um, in the case of homosexuality, and Peter Tatchell is going to wring my neck for this, I think maybe legislation's gone as far as it can without causing a backlash. Equal rights across the board, equal working rights, you can't legislate to change people's minds. Childline received 3,500 calls last year from kids worried about their sexuality. I want to find out what it's really like to grow up gay in 2010. Do straight teens embrace their gay peers with open arms? I was on my way to meet a teenager who is certainly not out and proud. He wants us to conceal his identity because he lives in a constant fear of his life. His crime? Being gay. Why is it you don't want us to see your face on the camera today, buddy? Because I'm scared to identify myself. And why is that? Because I get attacked. Attacked about for me. being what? Just being gay. Tell us about some of the attacks. Once I was rushed outside college in a park and I was beat up badly. The whole of my face was had black eyes. And on another occasion I was sliced in my leg by um my house. I was bottled on another occasion by one of my old friends. I'd have also been bricked, which made me have to go to hospital. And this was primarily due to the fact